So, Mati, obviously, you know, mediation is a very broad term, um, and we've we've defined it. Um, my question is that does do you consider all the work that you have done as mediation or are there other tasks as well? I don't think that they have all been mediation tasks. I have been perhaps part of a process assisting it sometimes. Uh, Namibia, for instance, was the original plan was developed by the five Western governments who happened to be in the Security Council mm -hmm. at the same time, the permanent members, US, Mm -hmm. UK and France, and then Germany and Canada. It was a lucky coincidence that they produced the basic plan, which I then implemented. Yes. But the process before we got there needed the support of, of this uh, Western Five, and particularly, I think, the Americans, who were, who, who were then crucial in that. But the others were needed as well. Uh, and then UN was needed as well on occasions, but then UN's role was to implement that plan. And my main activity was really to prepare for that and, and implement. ATSE was a real negotiation, but already there, the outcome was known from the beginning. It was a real negotiation. It was a negotiation on the contents mm -hmm. of the, what, what the special sovereignty means. Mm -hmm. But independence was out. Mm -hmm. It was a question whether the Free Asia movement, after sitting half a year with the Indonesian government, was convinced that what the Indonesian government was offering was something that they could live with. They couldn't get the independence, but they could get a special autonomy mm -hmm. for, for uh, Asia, mm -hmm. where they could start actually developing the well-being of the citizens of Asia. Uh, Kosovo was not actually a negotiation on the status, mm -hmm. and that's why it's sometimes very misleading. Right. Because in case of Kosovo, very early on, it was made very clear by the Western members of the contact group to the Belgrade and Pristina and Kosovo Serbs what the outcome was going to be. I was asked to draft with my team so-called private messages, which we presented to the ministerial meeting of the contact group, and Javier Solana was there, NATO Secretary General, Yaakov Sefer was there, uh, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was there, British Foreign Minister was there, and other high officials. And I presented an eight-point private message Mm -hmm. which I hope that every one of them would deliver to the party. Mm -hmm. And I read you the first one, first point. The unconstitutional abolition of Kosovo's autonomy in 1989 and the ensuing tragic events resulting in the international administration of Kosovo have led to a situation in which a return of Kosovo to Belgrade's rule is not a viable option. When this was delivered by the Western members of contact group, not Russia, the five governments told this to Belgrade, Pristina and Kosovo Serbs. They knew after the first quarter in 2006 already what the outcome of my pl plan when it comes to status was going to be. Right. That, that to me is important. So what was this exercise then that I led? Mm -hmm. It was to find out in these talks whether we could, in spite of what had happened, what had gone wrong, what the Serbs had done wrong vis-à-vis -vis the Kosovars, whether it was still possible for the minority, biggest minority, the Kosovo Serbs, to still have a peaceful life and future in Kosovo, and what safeguards we absolutely needed. Mm -hmm. And the end of this exercise was that I don't think anywhere in the world any minority has got so much guarantees for their security than, than in the plan that I presented. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it's, it's uh, I, I sometimes try to describe this to people that it's a little bit like, let's assume that uh, 
I would steal your wallet. And then police would find out that, that I have it. Yes. And then the police, the mediators would say that, now you can start negotiating with me how much money I return to you. No, that's not the way how, how the world functions. Obviously, you have to handle hand the full content and, 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 mm -hmm. and your wallet with all what there was. Otherwise, you end up in a jail or in Hague. Right. So I, I think we have to be able to see these processes in the right light so that there are no... I, I followed a very logistical approach because it was very important also that the contact group knew from the first moment when I started, before I even started the first negotiations, that what the outcome was going to be.